Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at why it's best not to use your downloads folder and the alternatives you've got to using your downloads folder. Now, I have done a video about this before, but I'm gonna show you something a bit more on this video because I did see a comment on my YouTube channel saying, how do I sync one of my local folders in the downloads folder with Google Drive? And it isn't how it works and it's best not to do it where you can't do it anyway, but I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean. So here, if we go in here, you will see that I have files in my downloads folder like this. Now I've got these files here because I am using them now or I've used them recently. I don't really need to worry about them going missing or anything like that. And if I needed them, I would move them. And I'm gonna show you, I've taken things off here because I wanna show you how I do this. Now, the reason why you would not want to store files locally, I understand that you've got a downloads folder and I understand that Chromebooks now come with a lot more storage than they used to. For example, this Asus Chromebook I'm using now has got 256 gigabytes of local storage. But for that, that's because you're most likely using Linux. And then when you're using Linux, you'd want to install Linux. You'd need the Linux container would need storage space and then when you install apps locally they will take up storage space so there's no getting around that but you shouldn't be storing your fo local files locally if you can help it now there's a few reasons why what would you do if your chromebook hard drive was corrupt what would you do you would lose all of your files what would you do if you was walking down the stairs and you dropped your chromebook and it crashed onto the floor and it smashed you would lose all your files what would you do if you lost your chromebook or even worse god forbid someone stole it from you you would lose all your files but it's not just that if you forget your password and it's much easier, I, I, I've got so many different accounts and there's so many passwords you have to remember. It's so easy to forget a password. Now, if you forget your Chromebook password to log into your account, your Google account, yes, of course, as long as you've done it correctly, you've done all the settings correctly, you can reset that password and you'll have to go through the process and they most likely send you a code to your phone or to a different email address, anything like that, so you can reset your password. And then you'll think, great, I'm back in my Chromebook. But the one thing you will not be able to do is get access to those local files. And the reason for that is because the local files are encrypted with your password. Changing your password does not give you access to the encrypted files. So for example, if you did have to reset your password and it would ask you to enter a brand new password, but then it would say, what is your old password? And the reason why it's asking you that is if you know your old password, you can get access to your files in your downloads folder. But the likelihood is the whole reason why you're resetting your password because you don't remember your old password and then if that's the case you will not be able to get access to those files in a downloads folder it will be empty so i would suggest it i know it's a lot easier said than done but it's about getting into the habit so i'm going to show you how it's easy to get into the habit of doing it a different way okay so there's a few things we need to look at so first of all like i says you don't want to in my files all of this here under my files is local files you don't want to get into the habit of leaving these files here like that. So the best thing to do is in Google Drive, create a folder. Now the folder I've created here is Downloads Drive. Now, if you go into there, you'll see it's in my drive. So it's in Google Drive and it's Downloads Drive. The reason why I haven't just called it Downloads because I didn't want to get mixed up with that. So I've just changed it to Downloads Drive. You can call it what? you like it's absolutely fine but essentially any files i want to download i should be doing it to download drive because that will then automatically put it into your google drive so you haven't got to worry about the files getting lost so first of all let me just show you what you the best thing to do from here so if you go to google drive create your drive then go to google drive and then right click on that folder and just put add to sidebar and then it will be at the top of the sidebar so if you close that down and you open this up just as you click on downloads like that but they're local files you just click on the downloads drive up there and there your 
Google Drive files. That's the best thing to do. And then if you do have a situation where you've got files stored locally and you're thinking, oh, I might want to keep these, just get them. I don't know if some of these are really big. I'll just do an example. I won't do them all because some of these might be video files, which I'm just going to do something different with anyway. Just get them like that. They're all screen recordings. I'll just get that image there and just drag it into that download drive. Okay, that's one way of doing it that way. And then you'll see it's syncing here and it's gonna to sync to that drive. But uh, there's a better way of doing that. I'm just showing you if you haven't done it and you have stored things locally in your downloads drive, that's a way to get it up there. So having that there now makes it much easier to access. Also, if you wanted to, you could go onto Google Drive, right click on Google Drive like that and put pin to shelf there. So now you'll have two ways to access it. So you'll either have, you can access it this way by just clicking on, I'll just minimize that, it looks nice, doesn't it? So you can have it done this way, just clicking on there like that. Or if you want to, now you've pinned it, just you'll see it there, pinned, just open that and then double click. And then it opens up the drive and that's your download drive in your OneDrive folder. Now you may be thinking it's a bit of a faff because when you download files, they automatically go into your local storage. So then you'd have to drag and drop. I was only showing you that in case you had files that you had to do that with, but you can get around that as well. All you need to do is open up Chrome, move that over there, go to down, so open up Chrome, sorry if I've done that too quick, open up Chrome, and you've got three dots there, just left click on there, and then go down to the bottom and click on settings. And then from there, move that back over there. From here, you'll have all these different options. Just click on downloads. And here you'll see location. So you can ask where to save, sorry, ask where to save each file before downloading. You could just tick that and then each time you download a file, it will ask you where you want to download it to. But that's an extra step every time you download a file. So that could be a bit annoying after a bit, but you could do it that way if you wanted to. What I would prefer is here, just change this. So my files downloads is where it currently is. And that is here, my files downloads, local. We want it in the download drive. So just go here, go to change. And then because we've created that downloads drive link, you can just click on that link. Or if you haven't clicked on that link, just go into your Google Drive, my drive and choose the folder from there and then click download drive, open and that's it, that's done. So now your downloads will save in Google Drive, my drive, downloads drive. Obviously, and I personally think that's the best thing to do. To, if you want to make sure your files are safe, that is the best thing to do. And then also, it's easy to access your files, just like it is. What's the difference between doing that to that? And then you're keeping your local storage for all of your Android apps, your Linux apps, your Linux container size. I've done a video on how you can install Windows 10 on top of Chrome OS. So you've still got Chrome OS, but you've also got Windows 10 installed and you do that via Linux. All of that obviously takes a lot of space as well. So you don't want to be using your local valuable local storage space for things like files that could be put in the cloud and you'll, they'll be much safer if you have them in the cloud. So now if we go onto the um, open up a browser, just go onto Google and just go into say dogs, go to images. Images, and then let's just right click on that, download that image, save image. And you can see it's gone to my drive, download drive. Yep, and then click save. So it's done it into there, not into your local one. And you just click save. So you haven't even got to think about it. It just does it for you. And then rather than have it in your downloads file here, which is local, it's now in here, there. Now there is obviously some things you need to think about. 
your, your Google Drive, I don't know how much storage you've got. I pay for extra storage and it's really cheap. I, I think I pay £1.59 for an extra 100 gigabyte per month and I think it's roughly the same in dollars as well. So it's really cheap and you get 15 gigabyte free anyway. And it's always a good idea and I'm saying this now and I'm, I'm guilty of it. But it's always a good idea to go through your files anyway and just to get rid of files that you don't need. This um, profile is just for my YouTube videos. So obviously I haven't got many files here, but I do have lots of files. But I'd rather have them in this downloads drive folder so I ain't got to worry. If I wanted to power wash my Chromebook, which I do quite regularly so I can see how different things are working, then I ain't got to worry about oh, what I've got in my downloads folder. But if you have got stuff in your downloads folder, and you need to keep them like I did earlier, just drag and drop them into there. One thing you need to bear in mind if you do do that, some of these here, for example, are videos. Now, if you're gonna drag and drop them all into there, it's gonna take some time to sync. So you'd want to leave your computer on to sync because if you don't do that and then you could quickly delete, then it's not synced to the cloud. So your files have not have synced to the cloud. You need to give it time to sync. That's why I only did the one image earlier. So also because like I said about your storage, it's just a good idea to go into Google Drive every now and again. And if you go to your My Drive and then your Downloads Drive like that, just see what's in here and see if you need everything and if you don't. Or another thing you could do is sorry i've accessed it through google drive but it's fine i can do it through files it's the same here another thing you could do if you're a bit like me and you like to hoard your files a bit because you're not too sure whether you want them after a while you'll have hundreds of files in here so a good way of dealing with it is maybe do month by month so january 2024 get all the files what are in there, create a folder within the downloads drive and drag them into January 2024. And then everything was downloaded in February, you could drag them in. Obviously you don't have to do that, but it's a way of managing your files much more as well. So I hope I've explained in this video why it's best not to use the downloads folder locally because yes it's there and you think well why it's why is it there if i can't use it you can do of course you can but i've explained all the risks to that and it's best to keep that for all of your linux files and your android apps and your linux apps and stuff like that i hope you like this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching